Hello everybody and welcome to our second part of Christmas cards that we made in class um, and I will get right into it. So this is one of the uh, cards we made. A cute little opening and I will show you how this works. This is actually our um, September, October uh, stamp set for the Holly and Ivy card making um, kit. I know that the one with those dies is no longer available, but I think you still can get the, just a plain stem set. So you might just want to go on the website and check it out. All right. So when you pull out your little batch of items uh, that are all in this envelope, just make sure you get everything. So I stamped the inside for you already. And we have two pieces of paper, design paper. We have a green piece, then a matching white one that has a little uh, stamped design on the back. And I just used a couple of little snowflakes and the glacier ink to do these. And that's just randomly. Then we have our Santa Claus, and Santa Claus is colored in with watercolor pencils. And at the end, I will show you quick a little bit on how you use those. And then we have the little tag saying Merry Christmas. So let's get started. All you want to do is adhere the paper to the card. And like I said, just make sure you have um, the card the right way up. And just adhere, and I adhere it all the way till the to the fold here. This, by the way, is just a regular quarter card, so eight and a um, four and a quarter by uh, five and a half. And I just scored this in the middle and fold it in half. So pretty simple, pretty easy. And when you put this paper down, like I said, it goes all the way to the edge and you just leave a little bit of a rim here to round it. All right, then the candy cane stripe paper goes right next to it. And we do the same thing, put a little bit of pieces on here. And I just make sure that my top spacing and the bottom spacing are equal and that they line up with the one you put on the front. And there you have it. On the inside, I just did a little squirrely with just a little pencil line. So Nothing fancy. And that will take care of this. Then we adhere, let's put this aside for now. Then we adhere the white paper to the green. And again, this is just in the center, so an even space around all four sides. If you're using liquid adhesive, nice thing is you can move it around a little bit. If it happened to be not quite straight like this one was. And then you're good to go. Now we put our center in the middle. And the center, let's put this down here, goes right in here. And I did raise the little Merry Christmas a little bit. So um, all I did was, because it is hanging over the edge down here, so you can't get adhesive down there. So I just put my little foam dots on the top here. So I just put a couple up here. Make it stick. And there's 
sticking to me because I only worked with glue today. So my fingers are pretty sticky. Okay, and then you just put it somewhere here so it holds on to the card. All right, and then all we have to do is place this in the center. So that's about halfway. So remember when you put adhesive, don't put adhesive on the whole side. You only want to put adhesive on adhesive on half of this piece. So I'm just eyeballing it and just going down here. Because if you put the adhesive on the entire piece, well then you shut your card and you don't want to do that. Just make sure it's nice and attached and voila our first card is done and I'm back again because I forgot about the watercolor um, pencils so I colored our little um, center in with my watercolor pencils you can use regular pencils if you want to um, I just like the watercoloring because it's easy and it gives a nice um, coloring effect. So I didn't even color in the whole thing and I will just show you this on his pants just so you get the idea. So this is our watercolor pencils and I just go around the edges, especially where there's creases or where you know it's maybe a little bit in the shade, like under his belly here. And I purposefully leave the middle open. And I show you in a second why. And then we do the other side. So it makes for a really quick coloring. And depending on what your watercolor pencils are at home, just give them a try on um, a little piece of cardstock and see how they flow. What I mean by flow is I would just color would take my pencil and start really dark streaks and then go lighter and um, we will test this in a second to show you how this works all right so I dip in water and I really need just a tiny little bit of water and what I do is I start on the dark areas and can you see how the water activates the color and pulls the color out so just make sure you don't have too much water and then you fill in your gap and you let it dry. Same on this side. So let's start with the darkest side and get the color going and then we just pull it into the middle. And there's plenty of water that actually was more water than I needed. And that's pretty much and you can already see where it was darker on the outside. It gets lighter in the middle and it gives you an automatic shading in a more 3D um, three-dimensional object. If you think that you're still missing a little bit of color you would like more let it completely dry then go in with your pencil uh, mark the edges and then go with the water over again. So this is how I did for the center the whole time and this would be my swap at home so I would just start using here and then the water and see how it flows because um, this way not only did you get an idea how your pencils react but you also will notice if there is a color for example that um, you know where the color doesn't flow as good as like you just saw here in the red and sometimes you still see the streaks even if you go over with water over it um, so that way you know that you might not want to use too much pressure with this particular color and I just um, put my names like this is Clover Meadow so I would write Clover Meadow and then just put a little um, sample swap there and that way I know okay maybe that's one where I need to be careful not to use too much pressure but that's up to you so this is pretty much how I started to color in the whole center and um, like I said, it gives a nice 3D effect, as you can see here, the darker areas, you know, where it's shady and same with, with his bag. 
So just a few things. His face is a little bit um, pink and then just red cheeks. The rest you want to leave white. And then we went over with a shimmer brush over his um, felt on the um, head and on his jacket. I hope that helped. Like I said, that's just a quick intro. Um, I made a video about watercoloring before, if you're interested, but these pencils are really great thing to have and they're really fun to work with. And if you don't like them, you can always just use them with regular coloring pencils. But I think you will like them very much. Key is do not use a lot of water. It's a tiny little bit of water that you need and it's almost a dry brush and um that will do it to activate and you can just use plain jane regular cardstock okay thanks for watching bye bye